Okay. Um, I want to welcome you back from our short break. Once again, thank you for turning up for the second Pakasa Forum. It's our dedication and intention to create or at least to show you where the opportunities are and so you can go and take full advantage of them. One of the most interesting phenomena that has picked up on social media is something called Tusawa Government Yetu Yambe. Uh, I am not sure how much government, and I'm not just talking about a government here, but governments elsewhere can kuyamba you. I think you're better off kuyambaring yourself. And we are kuyambaring you to kuyamba yourself. If you sit there and wait for somebody to come and help you, you will die a poor and sad person. So, those of you who are watching us on Urban TV, this is a second part of our discussion and we've brought you people who are in a position to describe to you what opportunities they have that you can benefit from. TV, Mupakasa, Abantu, Abalina, Obusobozi, Okubayamba, Okuvayo, Wemuli, Nemulongo, Sembera, and Wemuvian Funa. So, with me today, sitting right next to me, is Mr. Dokoria from the Uganda Industrial Research Institute. He will talk about what the Uganda Industrial Research Institute does and tell you how you can go there. I think they even have a desk here today and be an incubatee. An incubatee is simply you go and use their equipment to build your business and he will tell you the varieties of businesses that they incubate. Then Mr. Segawa runs an organization called Kurad. It has a long name. It's a full paragraph. He calls it Consortium for Enhancing University Responsiveness to Agribusiness Development. All of that just means that he helps graduates to, to, to set up agricultural businesses in simple English. Then Mr. Samuel Kavuma is the chairman of the National Youth Council. And as I said, they have billions. Uh -huh. So he will tell us what that program is about and how you people can go and benefit from it. For our viewers on Bukede, Day, Abami Bemula Bawano, Bevalina, Obusobozinga Benavagambie, Mwami Dokoria, Abamuchitongo, the Uganda Industrial Research Institute, Nabayamba, Abatandi State Business, Obago Octandica Business, Gerichi Javains Octandicam, Nature Kulabirako, Balina, a Fumbiro Yemigati, Wango Yagala Fumbe Migati or Subule, Bainzo Kua, et cetera, Wenzo Kugenda, you know, Fumbe Migati to Kutusanga, Rosovola. Okoi miriza okuluo, mami segawa yemuganda jakunyo nyola kumu Uganda ngeri chi HIV na chi jichinzo kuyamba mu abo bolimi, mami kavuma na yolo bolimi alotegera bulungi ya kulida HIV na chi abafu boka mu Uganda ngalina kunsimbi government zeya muade zagendo kuwa abaga lokuteka o businesses zoko imiriza o na yuto moli na wan so. Let me start with you, Mr. Dokoria. I am not sure how good your Uganda is, but if mine is better than yours, I'll help you. Thank you. So you have five minutes to take us through, and I will stop you at the end of five minutes. Uh, thank you, Robert. Uh, my Uganda is uh, worse than his, so I don't think I will venture in that. Uh, my name is Dennis Dokoria, and I'm um, the Communications and Marketing Manager of Uganda Industrial Research Institute. Um, my task here today is to speak about business incubation at URI. 
However, before that, I would just like to introduce Yuri. Uh, Uganda Industrial Research Institute is a parastate organization uh, operating under the auspices of the Ministry of Trade, Industry, and Cooperatives. Uh, the mandate given to us by the government of Uganda is to lead the industrialization efforts of Uganda. So we see how can we increase uh, industrialization in Uganda. Uh, in doing that, we engage in various activities. One of them is that we create a platform for value addition and product development, uh, which is a very big problem in our country because most of what we do in our country is that we trade a lot in the primary product. Another one is that we engage in technology transfer, technology development, and fabrication of machinery. Uh, another activity we're involved in is we have analytical laboratories, we offer analytical laboratory services, and also we engage in business incubation. And that's mainly what I'm going to discuss today. So under business startup enterprises, uh, you may agree with me that very many entrepreneurs, many people in Uganda are entrepreneurs. We have ideas, but the problem is most of these ideas are not nurtured. There is a lot of premature closure of businesses in Uganda. There is significant business failure in Uganda. People start businesses and they fail. And also, the quality of the products we produce are not competitive, more especially at a time that the markets have opened. We have the regional integration, so we have a huge market. But what is the quality of product that we, we have? So these are some of the areas that URI is trying to engage in. Now we have two models of incubation. We have the in-house and the virtual. Now in-house incubation, we support our entrepreneurs within our facilities, at the URI facilities. So we have what we call pilot processing plants or facilities at, at URI. And these are the places where our incubatees or these entrepreneurs are being incubated. Then we also have a virtual incubation uh, where we uh, support entrepreneurs off-site. We support them at their facilities, wherever they are, uh, in form of probably technology, uh, technology sourcing, capacity building, and in some cases even facilities and infrastructure. Uh, the participating enterprises will benefit from the following. Uh, we offer entrepreneurship training that addresses the unique needs of individual enterprises. So we offer training, and our trainings are, are uh, practical, I mean, ideal. Uh, sometimes they take just one week. Uh, at the end of the day, you should be able to produce a product. Um, we also offer business advisory services, uh, which may include marketing, may include promotions, may include business development. Uh, we also offer mentoring services. Uh, we offer shared business support services. Uh, they benefit from our internet, our, in our networks and all that. We offer networking. Um, we also offer technology and technical know-how services and value addition and product development. Because many times we have uh, very many products but you need to develop. We have ideas, we have concepts, so we can work with you, can work with you throughout. So the whole idea of incubation is to work with you. The ideal period for incubation is three years. Uh, we also have analytical laboratories uh, services. So uh, entrepreneurs bring their products, they take them to the labs and they test. That's for quality testing. Uh, currently at URI, these are the areas where incubation is happening. Uh, incubation is happening in food processing, uh, especially uh, we have a plant for meat processing, we have for fruits and vegetables, uh, we have dairy processing, we have coffee, wine processing, mushrooms, bakery processing, among others. There are so many products being processed. Uh, after us, one of our incubators will be speaking, and uh, she's processing a very unique and uh, interesting product uh, that you will be told about. Uh, we also have handmade, handmade paper processing uh, from natural fibers. You know, there was a time when the government was banning the Cavera issue. And we went into some research, and we realized that handmade paper from natural fibers, from banana fiber, size of cotton, 
is being made uh, in different countries, especially India. And uh, it's a huge market. So we went into this, and uh, we are processing products, and there are some of our incubators who are benefiting from this. We also have vaccine production. Uh, we are producing a vaccine against Newcastle disease in poultry. So you can imagine we're into food processing, we're into vaccine processing, into paper processing, we're into cosmetics and laundry soaps processing, uh, we're into instrumentation and electronics, uh, minerals and uh, mineral processing, we're making ceramics and other products, uh, car horn processing, textile processing, uh, using handlooms, metalworks, carpentry, essential oils, bamboo, uh, software design and ICT, uh, energy efficient technology, uh, making briquettes and all that, and including fertilizers. We are also making organic fertilizers. Now, in all these areas, we are supporting enterprises. So it's all about you to come. And you know, URI is more demand driven. So you come with your, your concept to us, and then we see how we can help you. Thank you. Thank you. Dokoria, what you didn't tell us is where you are located, how people can find you. I know that you have a stand outside today, but for those, so for those of you who are here, you can go to their stand outside. But just for people who are watching, where are you based? How can they find you? Uh, Uganda Industrial Research Institute is located uh, at Nakawa Industrial Area. That's Chambogo area. Uh, for those who are into some sort of production or processing, you know where UNBS is? We're in the same premises with Uganda National Bureau of Standards next to Pepsi Cola factory. So you will allow me to translate very quickly for our viewers uh, and those of you here who are more comfortable with Uganda. Aba UIRI via Amba abatandiseyo business zawe mu ngeri biri bayinzo kuyambira ewabwe mu office zawe nakawa je babera oba bayinzo kusanga gwe wokolera ne bakuwa ku magezi obuyambi bwe bawa gwe kuwa ku magezi agakwatagana ne business obuyambi obwo kubiri baba somesa ngeri kije muyinzo kola mu business zamwe je mu bamutandiseyo oba je mwagalo kutandika ingeri eyo kusatu Bali na laboratories moinzo kutwala ebi intu biobo biobo ya galo kola ni babi kevera ubabi inzo kutwali wa mukatali e, engeli indala jeva yamba mu uwa uh, business jeva singo kuyamba mu mu industry ya we manya mu, mu institute ya we bie bie okulia ngukole migati uh, ebi amata um, Inyama, meat processing, mushrooms, na baga lokola ensau, uh, katuga mbenga, muzikole na mumpapula, hova, mubisanja. Nibi dala biba yamba, ubazi, pozi, nedagala. So, mubalumbe, inakawa, ukutani kaku mande. Mungenemu manyichi, oba mgerichi jeva inzo kuyamba mu. Mwewa lenyo. So, mwami segawa. Ategwe. What do you have? Good morning. I'm sure uh, Robert has introduced me thoroughly. My name is Apollo Segawa. I think I'm good with the language that you all understand. Ndi musajawa kawaka. Kale njia kumikisinga muo Uganda na Uluzungu So that we can all be on the same level uh, My organization is called CHURAD I'd love to emphasize that because the, uh, Making that in full is quite a mouthful It is basically the consortium For enhancing university responsiveness To agribusiness development that's where that word comes from, CHURAD. We are a public-private partnership with our key members being Makerere University, uh, New Cafe, which is the National Union of Coffee Agribusiness and Farm Enterprises, 
and narrow. So ours is a consortium that is made up of those three organizations, Makere University, uh, New Cafe, and Narrow. Uh, basically, our vision, or what we want to achieve, is to be a leader in generating young agribusiness entrepreneurs in the country. That is what we want to achieve in this country, and that's the message I have for you. We want to make you leaders in agribusiness. Not only young people, but anybody who is active in agribusiness. The people we target are largely our youth, we, and this includes the rural and urban youth, students, and those that are not in school. Our Vubuka, our universities, Nabo, Avata Soma, Bamtu, Betsoka, Optunulako, Morganization Yaf. Then we have graduates, people who have uh, finalized their studies and want to enter agribusiness. That is another core target group that my organization is working with. We also work with farmers and farm organizations. Avalimi, Nebibi Nabi Avalimi, Evirimu Biokulima. Eyo Grupu Tuja Nirizanyo Kuchurad, Era Tusobola Kubayamba. Another group that Churad targets is the any startup or MSE. Basically, business business of work at Andika over Obagala or expanding. So long as you are in the agribusiness, when I say agribusiness, I mean from the farm or even farm inputs. Bobango dealing chemicals as again I'm a farm, or maybe anything it causes a farm. Bobanga when you get them over me, go olima. Bobanga or subula even to even me dua. Bobanga or causes a even to even from the mirrors of either could be parking uh transporting and obituala mu market sendala over if you are processing, if you are adding value to agricultural products. In honor any of these categories that I'm elaborating, you are our target client. What do we offer at Shurad? First and foremost, I want to clearly indicate that uh, our value or main value chain is coffee. Churad, etunuri denyo, okusoka, anything in agribusiness concerning coffee. From the farm to the nurseries to processing to consumption. If a farmer organization or an individual is in that line of business, that is our first uh, client. We also offer, among other things, uh, uh, business plan development. Then, most importantly, we have some money that you can put in your business at a very low interest rate. Very low as in half what you get from the commercial banks. So that is a very important offering that we give our businesses. Another thing that we offer at Churad, we have working space for about 25 uh, either businesses or individuals with internet and computers. So you can come to our premises, tell us what you want to do. We will give you a computer with internet and we help you to draft that business plan. Uh, finally, uh, the, uh, just to wrap this up, we have coffee processing equipment. We have a lab that makes plants, improved varieties of coffee, 
we have a plant that roasts coffee and grinds it and packs it for the consumer. You can have access to all these facilities. Thank you very much.